I'm good. You're going to be great. Because, bitch. Oh, okay. What's going on, y'all? <laughs> 2014 VMAs was an okay show tonight. I must say it was better than I thought it would be. I was not bored throughout the whole thing. There was a couple of performances that I really could did could have did it without. And, you know, but honestly, I'm going to be fair. And I'm going to just mention the performances, the performances. Because, you know, really what we really want to hear is, you know, and what most of us really tuned in for was to see the Beyonce performance and her accepting the Michael Jackson Vanguard Award, you know, and seeing who was going to present it to her and what her speech was going to be like. And thank God, I'm not going to share her so early, but, you know, something happened and I was like, thank God she didn't speak. Well, I, I am. Thank God she didn't give a real speech and she just said what she had to say and shut the fuck up because, you know, sometimes... Beyonce ain't the best talker, but you know, it is what it is. Look, I said I wasn't going to do this. I am proud of her, but let me just put this out there. <laughs> I got to preface this because I've been noticing my behavior lately and it's like, girl, you are, I'm like, I'm not a stan. No, but the line has been blurred extremely. And at this point, I'm just confused at about Especially after tonight, what exactly is going on with me? Like, I got to figure that out and give me a couple of days. And I'm pretty sure that after two days or three, maybe, I'll be back to normal, okay? Because this shit, I got to stop it. I got to stop it. It's getting a little bit too much and it's making me confused. But we're going to move on. The red carpet, you guys tell me what your best look was. I love Shalange's look. I love Michelle uh, Williams' look. Well, fuck, I love Destiny Childs, the Nose Carters, and all that. Their looks was cute. Beyonce, I would have went a little lighter, but, you know, she was in her black and her long sleeve and her lace. I mean, you can clearly tell that either she wasn't wearing no drawers or she had on a thong because, baby, I saw everything from when them legs was, your legs was this far apart and they came up in the cheeks and then the split. Look, I saw everything, okay? And I was like, if she's giving me all this and she actually got her ass back, I knew that it was going to be worth it. Like, she was already giving me everything from just the back. She was already giving me that. And I just said, hmm, but don't get your hopes up too quick. Don't, just because you saw that, don't mean that it's going to be a great performance or anything like that. Because, you know, MTV, MTV was hyping this shit up so much. And I said, if I'm sitting here like this, because this shit is shitty, or it ain't all that, I'm going to curse both their asses out. All right? I really am. I really am. Because I was ready to go in. Y'all know I'd love to judge. But it is what it is. Um, Miley Cyrus actually was good for me. Her look on the carpet. Nicki Minaj. Um, those were my best looks. So, the ones that I already mentioned. Who was your best look? Who was the worst look in your opinion? And, you know, if you watched the red carpet. Okay, we're going to get on to the show. Ariana Grande, she opens it up singing some song and you got Spaceship and all this shit on the stage. And I said, the fuck? But, you know, she sounded cute. She was giving me very much Kid Choice Award songs and performance and all that hair looking the same way as usual. And I just said, God damn, break out, bitch, break out. And then next thing you know, all of a sudden she goes up into her spaceship and Nicki Minaj comes out and does Anaconda. And I said, oh, okay. You know, she gave us a PG-13 version of that. And I say PG-13 because, you know, like, at one point, you know, she was kind of clothed up, clothed a little bit. She wasn't showing too much ass or anything like that. Wasn't being totally suggestive. Until, you know, the Sierra-looking backup dancer came up between her and just banged her on the floor. And I was like, oh. You know, that kind of piqued my interest. And then, you know, they kind of did the crybaby on the floor. And that's when they hump their booty. Like, they dry hump the floor. That's what it's called, the crybaby. That is so old. Why are they bringing this shit back? Like, the crybaby came out when I was a kid. Okay? And I'm in my late 20s. Like, come on now. Stop. But, um, <laughs> after that, you know, Jesse J came out. And they started singing Bang Bang. And then Ariana Grande, Grande comes out in her little leotard. And I was like, wait a minute. In this bodysuit? I said, oh. You want to show us that you fucking now because you with Big Sean and you like, look at my thighs. I'm not this little girl. I'm not as innocent as y'all perceive me to be. And I was like, girl, we already knew. That secret been out. 
Oh, it was never no secret. I'm just wanting to tell you that. Stop with this innocent act and come into your own. I see you slowly trying to do that. Okay. So after she, they perform, um, Sam Smith performed, gave the best performance vocally to me other night. And the second best performance of the night. Vocally, the best performance. Second performance altogether. The best for me. Um, he did stay with me. And Kim Kardashian West uh, introduced him. And let me say, Mama had them titties sitting out pretty. And I was like, not complaining. I said I was very much here for it. She looked nice. Go ahead. So you get an A just for your just standing in place like that. Could, you know. She should have brought North, too. She should have brought North, too, so she can just stunt with her, too. Because North, she's a very beautiful child. And I hate on that. And she probably would have been sitting up there like this. Y'all know how North be. North be confused as fuck. But it's so cute. But anyway. Um, Taylor Swift could have did without her. Because I just felt that song was so beneath her. And it was just like going back instead of moving forward. I was not here for the whole song at all. I was just confused. So, uh, five Seconds of Summer. Who the fuck are they? Next. I appreciate Common mentioning the um, Ferguson, Missouri situation that's going on and having a moment of silence for that. And, you know, that was a nice little moment. Uh, who else? I like the fact that Katy Perry came out there just like uh, Katy Perry and Riff Raff had the shit. The paying homage to uh, Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake with the denim, all denim. That was that was funny as fuck to me. Go back and look up the pictures. Why is Riff Raff still relevant? I don't understand, but hey, he's there. Um, after that, Maroon 5, they performed, I think, via satellite. I wish they would have been on the main stage because I love me some Maroon 5. My sister got me hooked on that stuff. But um, after that... Nikki, no, Iggy performed with Rita Ora, J-Lo. Oh, my God, yes, J-Lo. Fucking stunning, beautiful, gorgeous, beauty. Just, ugh, she's just, ugh. She did it for me. She introduced um, Iggy and Rita Ora. They did Black Widow. And let me tell you something. Iggy was comfortable with herself on this stage. Go back to look at the BT Awards from this year. There's a clear difference. <laughs> and I and I I don't want to say what I think the reason is, but I guess we could all um, you know, inform what the reason is because, you know, she was in her place of comfort. Familiar faces. Just saying. But she was clearly in her own right there. She was giving it to us. She didn't fall off the stage this time. I think that. But she, when she fell off, like, she literally, I said, no, no, girl, don't take that one step back. Take it forward. She went back, and she fell, bop, and got right back up and continued to perform. I said, dad, you learning. You learning to be a true professional entertainer. Go ahead, bitch. But um, I just wasn't feeling Rita Ora's wig, and that was just it about that performance. Usher, I was confused about that beginning. When he was doing all of that, and I was like, what the fuck were you saying in the mic before they got into the song that he was singing with Nicki Minaj that sound kind of like an old Michael Jackson song, like he was trying to impersonate him. I mean, other than that, and he was trying to, he was struggling on them high notes. Baby, you doing all them dance moves to show us that you still got it. We know you can still dance your ass off, but don't release no singles that got high notes in it that you know that you're going to be performing on these shows live because you like to sing live. Please don't do that because when you hit them notes, they struggle. They come out flat as fuck, all right? Come on, let's not do that. But that was basically it. Jay Farrell, don't get him up there no more because I was not here for all those impersonations. They was lame as fuck. And I was just like, come on, move the fuck on. All right. Miley Cyrus, she fucking tried it when she let old boy come up there and accept that award on her behalf. And I mean, not the message behind it saying that she tried it. That was cute what he did. And I get it. And I was like, that's how you show awareness. But she should have came up there with him to make him feel comfortable because baby was stumbling. He was nervous. He was shaking. She's sitting there fake crying. I'm like, girl, what you crying over words that you wrote? You can tell me Miley didn't write that for him. Girl, stop playing. So... Anyway, so um, let's get to the moment that I've been waiting for. I don't care if y'all want to wait for it now. I'm sorry. I'm sad and a little rude, but, you know, I just really wanted to do this. For, I didn't want to give y'all a half ass you know, review and just review one particular performer because that's not fair because they was, she wasn't the only one that performed, but she was mainly the one that we was waiting on. And, you know, 
for the first time in a long time, MTV got this shit right. Let me tell you what MTV got it wrong. In 2011, when they presented the same award to Britney Spears, and then, you know, they had them little girls out there doing her shit. And I was like, what type of fucking, you know, tribute is this to Britney fucking Spears? And she ain't even get out there and perform, I don't believe. Or if she did, I don't fucking remember. She got up there and her, her little tribute wasn't as long as this. She got up there, presented, um, accepted her award, finished her speech, didn't even go sit down, introduced Beyonce. And Beyonce stole the whole show with the moment of presenting us blue to the world. I said, MTV, y'all was wrong for that because what y'all should have did was have Britney, you know, do her, do the little tribute. Britney accept her speech or her award, say her speech, go sit down, have somebody else come out there and present an award, and then have somebody come back out and then present Beyonce and her performance. That's what they should have did. They kind of screwed Britney over on that, but we're not going to get on that. We're on Beyonce right about now because this year, I guess they learned and they got that shit right. They saved the motherfucking best for the goddamn last. You know, like I said, they was hyping this shit up so much. And I just was like, oh, my God. I got nervous. I got nervous for a second because I was like, what the fuck? If this shit is not like it's, you know, all worth all the hype, I'm going to be so disappointed. And I don't want to get so excited because I'm going to get on here and I'm going to be pissed off. And I'm going to just go off on MTV for doing this shit. And I'm going to go off on Beyonce for giving us another Grammy Awards um, performance like she did with Drunk Love. I wasn't really here for that. I'm going to be honest. I was like, girl, you could have kept this in your hair. You could have kept that in your hair dry. Okay. It wasn't worth it. I'm just saying. You was kind of over it then, too. But it is what it is. So, what wind up happening is we get this little thing talking about the fan tribute. And you had a couple of people up there, you know, from social media saying how Beyonce inspired him and all this stuff. And I was like, oh, that's cute. And then it phased out like he was going to go to a commercial. And I said, wait a minute, this shit just came back on. How was it going to a commercial that quick? Oh, no. They were setting it up. The next thing you know, the screen went black, and then it came back on, and it smoked, and then we see Beyonce. Beyonce sitting in the chair or on the bleach or whatever the fuck she was sitting on. And this bitch got to perform her own a miniature version of her fucking concert. Like, she gave us a Beyonce concert in, like, 20 minutes or so. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just sitting here like, who is allowed to perform their whole damn album that they just released? Who has been able to do that? Nobody. Not to, not to my knowledge. This bitch got out there and performed the whole uh, damn album. I will say this. A couple of songs she didn't perform, and I was glad that she did not perform them. I'm just glad that she had the instrumentals or whatever to them. Um, as transitions to the next song because I was not here to listen to no damn unpretty. Mm. Okay, no pretty hurt. TLC, wrong song. Pretty hurts, no. No, because your pretty don't hurt, bitch. Look at you. You're fucking gorgeous. Stop it. And I was not here to listen to no um superpower. Look, we're not finna slow this shit down like this, okay? I don't want to have to be like, mm, yeah. I wasn't here for that right about now. And I was not here for heaven. Uh, Cause I was not trying to be in my, I wanted to be in my feelings because I was in awe of everything that just happened and be like, damn, that touched my spirit. I didn't want to be in my feelings because I was depressed because I'm thinking about people that died because I'm listening to heaven. No, that's not what I wanted. I want, I didn't want that. And she didn't do it. And I was like, she knew, she knew, she knew we had this connection and she just knew. And I was just like, good job for that one. Cause I would have went off like, bitch, what? Heaven? Superpower? No. I'm pretty. Pretty hurts. Pretty. Where? Where does it hurt? Because you look like you're doing pretty fine to me. Okay? You. We're going to get into this. Let's go. Comes back. She's doing mine. I was like, okay. You know? Because then you know how mine picks up. But I didn't think she was going to actually start it from that the very beginning. And, um, you know, I was like, I kind of caught it as a little bit of shade. And in a way, because, you know, it was, it t to me, I interpreted it as it, you know, because when you hear mine, she's talking about at the very beginning, you know, having situations about, uh, you know, having talks about separations, not feeling the same after the baby, and, you know, all this um, divorce rumors and separation rumors. And I said, them motherfuckers put that shit to rest during this whole, <laughs> Beyonce know what the fuck she's doing. She put all that shit to rest. Doing this damn performance. 
and everything that happened afterwards. I was like, see, that's how you fucking do that shit, bitch. All right. You know, she do that and she had the girl. First of all, that should have been, I was just in my feelings and I was very pissed off at the girl or whoever the fuck it was that was sitting down there between her legs, you know, resting on her side. You know, my hair could have been like a pillow. Like the dress was just soft enough to just, you know, it wouldn't have added no friction or nothing. That should have been me, but we're not going to get into that. It is what it is. You know, I just didn't get the recall. I must have missed it. I had to go back and check my phone and see, you know, missed calls from last month. No, I didn't get it. She just said, fuck you, Ashley. And I was like, oh, okay. Fuck you too. So, um, you know, I was kind of hurt by that, but we shall move on. And um, in the ghost performance comes on. And let me be honest. I was like, girl, what you doing? You got to pick this shit up. Okay. You know, mine, they do the little choreography for that. And then ghosts, I was like, yes, they got dudes out there. You know, because the last couple of tours, she had just the female dancers and the two twins. Uh, the twin, twin boys, the twins. And she had more male dancers. Um, she had, uh, one dancer that I knew, Al Vesta, who was actually, you know, uh, on, um, a part of Tamar's tour, one of her lead dancers. I was like, okay, look at that come up. No shade, but look at that come up. Damn, look at my arm. Something bit me up. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. But, um, you know. He was getting his little, I said, damn, look at that. That is what's up. And um, they did the ghosts, and then, you know, they had them, like, they was running, like, in the video, but with their suits on in the circle or whatever. And then I said, okay, pick this up. They do haunt it. And I was like, all right. I didn't really, really, really get hyped until they did No Angel, because that was one song that I have not seen perform live. And I was like, oh, that is my shit. I was like, Beyonce, you know I'm No Angel already. So you were speaking to my heart. And I was like, I understand. I understand. So thank God. Kudos to you. She was trying to she was, she was, she was trying to tick tock tock tock. I said, girl, stop, 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 and just sing this goddamn song. But you know, she did what she had to do. It was cute. And um, Right between Angel, she went to Jealous. And I was like, all right, this transition, it was kind of confusing. But then I got, I was like, you know, Angel, and I'm going to still be jealous. I'm no Angel, and I'm going to still be jealous. So, yeah, I was like, okay, I'm following how this going. But then it's like, we went to Blow. And before Blow came on, I think even between Blow, no Angel, you know, the transition between Jealous and Blow, mm-hmm. or Blow and Drunken Love was playing, um... I'm um, pre- uh, uh, pretty hurts. We just heard the music from it. She didn't sing it. We just heard the music from it. But then she went to Blow. And I love that performance from Blow. And then after Blow, when it got to turn that cherry out, turn it. And all of a sudden, the music just started fucking up. And I said, oh, no, MTV. Not, not, no, 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 no. You're not going to do this. But it was Beyonce's doing. I was like, I should have known this bitch. She always doing some shit. She tried to pull it. And, you know, it transitioned into, you know, showing the twin boys on the other side doing their little dance, little solo, and um, to Drunk in Love. We hit a little horn thing from Drunk in Love, and, you know, she got the girls up there upside down with their legs spread. I said, look at all that ass on the stage. And I'm just saying something. They allow all this to happen, I guess because it's Beyonce. And it was kind of PG-13 for her, too, because this shit could have got raunchy as fuck. Just think about it for a second. Think about Beyonce album, the album. Now think about the performances that could have happened. Exactly, right. So this is PG-13 for her, mm-hmm. you know. And um, she just gave me the tease, like, you get her drunk enough, she'll fuck the shit out of a bitch. Like, she'll be the dominant one in, a, in control. Of, I'm just saying, I just got that tease, and I know I'm not the only one to get that from her. And when they panned the camera out to the audience, all the audience was rocking, bitch. They was rocking like they were at a fucking concert for real. And she had screen. She had the background that she had in the concert, you know, on, on the uh, on the screens and shit. I said, look at this bitch giving us a fucking condensed version of the Mrs. Carter tour and the On the Run tour all at the same time for what she did. Ain't this some shit? That's a bad bitch right there. Okay? And they allowed this shit to happen. Come the fuck on. Come the fuck on. You got me fucked up in my Mimi voice. All right, girl? Stop playing. So she did Drunken Love, and you go to the audience. Jay is out there holding blue. 
I didn't realize that Blue was out there the whole time doing this performance. Uh, honestly, I would have preferred to sit her ass backstage, but you know, that's not my child. And Miss Blue knows drunk in love because when it came to that, oh, Blue's in the audience like this with that hand. Oh, I said, and Jay was looking at her like, oh, my daughter know this word. Yes, she knows. Okay. Y'all had her out there when she was doing the Grammy shit, singing the words and stuff. I had an issue with that, but you know, it is what it is. Like I said, it's not my child. But then, you know, the chair comes out there and I said, what's this chair? comes out i'm like they finna do something else it transitioned from drunk in love to let me sit this ass on ya and i said look i don't have time to be going through this i damn near just passed the fuck out because that's all i wanted to hear i said if she play this song and if she say that word and if she say that perfect part i'm just gonna just I'm just going to be done. And I was literally done at that point. I couldn't take it no more. I just said, fuck. Fuck. Okay? That shit is everything. And then that's when the check came out. And I was like, hmm, Partition finna come on. Because she was doing some tricks on that before Partition came out. I said, you feeling yourself a little bit too much. All right? We know that after this show, you're going to get banged. And it is what it is. She was good and ready to go after this show. I'm just saying, after this performance, oh, he tore that shit up. He tore that shit up. If Blue wasn't there, they'd probably be getting it in in the car right about now. I'm just saying, you can't tell me no shit. You can't tell me no different. So they do petition, and that was fine. And when they was transitioning to Spot Fallis, they had the Super Bowl, uh, Superpower speech uh, be going with the Fallis speech, you know, with the lady that, you know, we teach gals to shrink themselves <laughs> look i had to remember what she said but that's what they had planned and then bow down bitches she did bow down bitches and i was like yes okay you know that's when the crowd really really got hyped like they was just going the fuck off and then when she went into flawless they paired the camera back over to fucking blue and blue was just like because I woke up like this, flawless. I said, this is her song. She was sitting there doing the choreography to the point that Jay was looking at her like. <laughs> I was like, looking at her like, like, look at this little girl. And shout out to Miss Tina for picking out her hair because she hooked that shit up. Because you know Beyonce didn't do that shit. No shade. But Beyonce, she don't do her own hair. Blue was looking cute with her little natural. And I'm not going to go there. But, you know, I kind of just did. But it is what it is. Um, while she was doing flawless, she did that first verse, and then all of a sudden it went into the remix, and she did that line. Sometimes shit goes down when it's a billion dollars in the elevator. I said, "Yes, bitch, you had to put that shit in there." And I was waiting for Nikki to pop out because Nikki was popping out on everybody's performance, but that didn't happen. But it is what it is. Next thing you know, y'all say y'all on his mouth like liquor. She did that, and I said, "You right. It's gonna be that tonight." Mm-hmm. That's cute. Yase came out and then Yase left. Yase left and Beyonce came back. And then, you know, we hear having playing the, the 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 girl that's speaking in a different what is it, Latin or whatever the fuck she was speaking or um having that was playing in the background as it was transitioning to blue, the song blue. And while she did blue bitch, I'm sitting here like, no, don't do it. Like I just got dead in my feelings for some reason. I just don't understand like I'm saying. I'll be good in a couple of days. I'll be back to normal. Like I'm saying, you, I'm not a stand, but the lines have just been extremely blurred. I don't know what I am at this point. I don't even know if I'm really here. And it's just a really confusing time for me right now. And I know I'm not overly exaggerating. I'm just saying, this is how I feel. Some of y'all may be like, bitch, get over it. No, I'm not. All right. I'll get over it in a couple of days. Okay. Just let me have this moment. All right. Just, just let me have this moment. Thank you. And, you know, she did Blue, and she had the clips of Blue and Jay playing in the background. And I was like, now, mind you, that's the part where everybody started crying at the concert. Like, girl, why? Why? Like, I don't even like kids. And I was just like, oh, my God, this is so cute. This was like a moment, okay? And I was just like, oh. And then it kind of left a little bit. But then I was still, it left, it left. And when she got through singing Blue, you know, Beyonce, she wanted to be so dramatic. And she started tearing up. And I said, girl, you better chuck that shit up. Because I ain't got time for it. Because these tears, you ain't paying for them. And I'm not going to do it. Kind of did, but I'm not going to do it. 
you know. And then she kind of chucked it back up a little bit. I was like, okay, get the gloss out your eyes. Blink, blink. All right, we clear that up. And then she goes and she was like, this is dedicated to my fans. And she do X up and she closed it out. Okay, when we get through with that, next thing you know, it was like to present um, all of a sudden. I don't even know if they introduced them to come up on the stage. Uh, Jay brought Blue up on the stage and she damn near like that reaction when um, Blue and Jay came up there and Beyonce damn near just melted and she was about to break down and cry and they hugged and they kissed and you know Blue was grabbing her face and all that shit. I was like, because that shit done never happened up in my household. I never, ever, you know, my mama pissed me off. In the midst of doing this goddamn review, send me some goddamn text about my Twitter shit. Like, girl, get off of it, all right? Ain't nobody asked you to get on it. Don't don't look at my stuff. That's why you're not accepted on my Facebook. Girl, stop. And I was just sitting here like, that is so beautiful. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, what I predicted would happen and what I said what would happen in my tweets earlier actually happened. You know, Blue got up on the mic. Either she said, yay, mommy, or good job, mommy. And I was like, see, bitch, I called that shit. I called it. You know, I was extremely happy for myself for some reason. And that's when I had to stop and say, get this shit together because you, you don't do this. And I like, I know, but just give me my moment. My inner self is a struggle. Like, girl, keep it in or keep it out. I just let it go. I just let it go. I just said, hey, fuck it. This is me. This is what's going to happen right here and right now. I'm allowed to have this moment. And that's what happened. And then she just said, you know, thank y'all for this. And, you know, I'm appreciated. And have a good night. I said, thank God she cut that speech short as fuck and closed out the show. Mind you, the show ended on my DVR. It said it was supposed to end at 1030. This ended at 1012 or 1015. I said, well, shit. Okay. You know, it is what it is. Y'all, I love the Beyonce performance, and that's just not me being biased or anything, because y'all know I was looking for shit to, I was really looking for shit to judge, and I kind of pointed some shit out, but, you know, tell me y'all opinion, be respectful of one another, tell me the best performance of the night for y'all, and the best dress for y'all, the worst dress, who you could have did without, and if you would have uh, arranged the little Beyonce thing, how would you want it to arrange it, but, um, yeah, y'all tell me how y'all feel about it. I gave y'all a long ass review. I was the <laughs> Woo! I'll see y'all later. Peace.